Hello everybody, Flying Shadow here. With this time I'm playing how I believe it's supposed to be pronounced East. East maybe? Chronicles. Um, this is a enhanced like uh, port of uh, the original game, which I don't remember the exact year it came out, but I believe it was like the early, or maybe it was like more like mid 80s. Uh, I can't remember what it originally came out on. I, I wanted to say the Super, or not Super Nintendo, this net or, oh my god i was having again the ness but uh uh but um i don't even know if it it may have been released on it but maybe not originally but anyway um i'm gonna let i don't know what i want to say about the game quite just yet it has been a little while since i've played it uh, I'm gonna let the intro play. I'm gonna play in the Chronicles version because you can actually it lets you choose between two modes. I probably should say real quick. There was a nut like this game was re-released re like a while back, I guess in 2001, uh, with like enhanced artwork and all that stuff. And then um, I guess again in 2009. I don't think that was when this one was released. Maybe it was. I'm not sure. But anyway, point is they allow you actually to choose between the two different kind of artworks and soundtracks and everything in here. But uh, I'm gonna go with the Chronicles version, normal, so I don't get possibly stuck. And uh, I'm gonna just let the intro play out, and uh, now I'll shut up and enjoy.
and welcome back everybody um yeah uh basically like the intro like it was actually kind of like given basic uh i call it basic like hints at what the story is of this game uh here let me get through this ah good you're awake and just to say i may or may not read all of this so there may be just rampart times where i just don't read out loud don't strain yourself now your body is covered in bruises so, you're still hurting anywhere? You, you still hurting anywhere, I think I said? At all checked himself over. There were no sign, or there wasn't any, but nothing deliberate. Oh god, I'm already <laughs> fucking up on my reading. <laughs> this is why I don't read out loud. I'm trying to, I don't know. Anyway, get some rest. Yeah, I'm gonna just shut myself up right now. I'm gonna be all tongue twisted because I don't like reading out loud. <laughs> were so amazing. Almost sounds threatening, but yes. Nah, maybe not. Who knows? So yeah, so like based on like the intro, you actually at all actually makes it through like this giant storm wall that just surrounds this island or continent, whatever the hell. I guess it'd be closer to an island. But yeah, it's just no one's ever been able to get past it alive, I suppose. But somehow he does. And in, of all things, a tiny, tiny boat. What if I don't want to? Okay, so yeah, uh, whoops. I don't think I have to talk to them for anything right now. Oops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm leaving. Bye bye. So let us set out. So basically, at all is like this adventure loving. Teen, young adult. I forget how old he's supposed to be. I think he's in this one, maybe? Maybe he's 18? I don't quite remember. But, um... Eh. He's always dreamed of adventure, I guess, from, like, the little intro, just from stories. I forget if it was look, it looked more like an old man or his father. It, get out here, fly. Or his father, but, um... He's, he's just... He loves adventure. He's gotta go on it. He's gotta find it. And I don't think I need to really talk to these people for anything. Let me go here. And I know there is a way to get a weapon early on. I can't remember how to do it, though. Uh, 
guess I need to go through all this. I cannot remember the name of that thing. Storm wall, hit up here, let's see if that's second one to go. There is a way to get a sword because you can actually wander out of town with a weapon, but there is a way to get a uh, short sword somehow. But I cannot, I cannot remember where it is that you get it. Demons! And I'm gonna let this video run a little longer than when I normally let my videos go because partly because of the intro which was a little longer than I remember but um also because of how much talking has been done by all these people get out of crap and uh I kind of want to try to get into something at least like, like the next town maybe here yes my hair stands out yes yes yeah, kind of kills business, doesn't it, when you can't get travelers? What was in here? Oh. And for the most part, I want to say it's kind of like a straightforward game. There are some optional, like, little side quests you can do, I, if I remember right, to get, like, some accessories and whatnot. But, um, for the most part... I mean, I'm probably not going to like focus on too many things. I'm probably just going to uh, go straight for the end. Like, uh, unless I get sidetracked. Because I say that now, but like usually like <laughs> when I'm doing uh, uh, like games, and I guess my personal time or whatever I should be calling it. Like when I'm just playing it to have fun. Like, oh, I'm not going to bother with this. I'm just going to do this and that. And then I end up uh, like collected everything. Kind of a pain in the ass when I want to get through a game. How the hell do I get that sword? I, it's in... Or it's not... Let me go back to the warehouse real quick. Or wherever I was. Let me try talking to him again. Okay, you aren't helping me. Okay, screw it. We're going without a sword. It's on normal. I should be okay. Let's go to that one. There we go. I think I beat it on Nightmare. Oh, yeah. Let me get it out of that screen. Okay. And here's what's unique about this game. I actually like it because I've not played another game like this. You attack enemies by bumping into them. But just like it's shown here, you do not want to hit them head on because when you do, it's kind of just like you're clashing with them and it'll be like both parties will be hurt by it. There we go, that's what you want to do. You want to pin up against stuff. Oops. And this is the problem with using a joystick. Die. 
There we go. I'm not gonna farm these guys though, because it will take forever. But, uh, let's see. This guy, he is a bit of an asshole. Now, I think he gives a look. God, he is like taking no damage from me. This is awkward. Okay. That's why I need the short sword. But these guys. Oh god, he only gives me 2 XP. Not worth it. Let's move on. I, think, I know I can buy one, but I just can't read I'd rather get the free one, because then it would say, whoops, it'll save me some money down the line, but it's not going to be worth the headache of running in circles trying to remember what triggers it. Although, mm, if this was a complete waste of time, I'll just make a cut back to this spot. Okay, I am back. Um, yeah, I thought I remembered what it was. I was thinking, like, maybe after I killed a couple enemies, uh, it would trigger it in town for me to be able to, um, uh, pick up the weapon, or, for, or I'm sorry, for it to be given to me from another character, actually, I forget his name, what was it, South? Something like that, the guy that was in the warehouse, or the port room place, whatever, um, but he had nothing for me. He still just kept asking me if I had questions about the town and stuff, but, um, now that we've reached the other town, I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, whoops, I the right buttons. Uh, there we go. Uh, but yeah, uh, in the next episode, I'll try to, like, I'm trying to think, like, what I want to say about the game without giving anything really away about the plot. I don't remember it to a T, but the things I want to say about it, I feel like would just spoil the overall plot or give away to me hints of what happens in the story. I personally find it a pleasant story to go through. Um, like I said, the gameplay in here is very unique where you actually run into enemies to fight them as opposed to actually, you know, using, you know, mashing an attack button or something or turn based system. But anyway, I'm rambling now. And thank you guys for watching the episode. I hope you enjoyed this little video so far. I hope you guys stick around for the rest of this. I, this, it's just a game that I just really enjoyed going through the first time. Well, first few times, actually. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.